friends so um today i'm going to be doing an unboxing a full unboxing of all of the once upon a book club book subscription boxes that i've gotten so far i came home to like so many of them on my uh front door uh thankfully they were still here once i returned from my vacation but um they were like all like delivered on the same time and ugh, yeah so I don't I don't think I'm going to I'm going to still read the books but I, I don't want to wait to see the gifts I feel like I've waited long enough these are like from various months and it's yeah these are like three months so yeah um it's not their fault it's uh USPS of course um and it's not really their fault they they're having some issues like you know I'm giving them some slack I'm definitely they're basically staying in contact with their customers and letting us know of everything they're posting updates they're emailing us they're doing everything that they can to kind of let them know that to let us know that you know it's not them it's definitely uh they're doing everything that they can to get our boxes to us but you know there's certain conditions that is you know it's kind of unforeseen um when you're dealing with things that you have to mail out so that's completely understandable but today i'm going to be unboxing all of these mofos because I just kind of want to get them out the way because I want to see my gifts. I am just, yeah, I want to see my gifts. So, yes, usually when I do Once Upon a Book uh, book Club, I would kind of try to read it and open it and everything. But, like, I'm getting a little behind. I think I have, like, five boxes just piling up and it's just like, no, we're about to open these gifts. So, <laughs> I'm going to start with this one. This is the only YA box that I have. So, Let's get started. First thing I am seeing is a bookmark telling me the rule that I'm about to break, which is wait to fully experience your box. Wait until you have read and reached the page that the post-it is on and then unbox it. But we ain't doing that. We about to unbox it. I'm seeing a beautiful um, quote print. And then on the back, there is a uh, letter from the author. We have what is called a book club kit. You can kind of see what the book is. There is like a discussion. These are the dates that they're going to be having the discussion on. And these are the pages that all of the gifts are on. First gift is page 181. Second gift is on page 394. Third gift is on page 299. The book is called The Love Curse of Melody McIntyre by Robin Talley. She flips over her book so I can see the cover and I laugh. She's reading Lay Miserables. I think I'm saying that right. I'm not really a, a play person, so... I don't really know a lot about stuff like in the acting world, but I think it's called Lay Miserable or Lay Miz, but I could be wrong. All right, so this is what is inside. Uh, so, um, it's a planner. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh, and it's our. Oh, there it is. It's a cute planner. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. It looks really fancy. The only thing I don't like is I don't like this cover. If it was like something really cute and girly, I would definitely love it. But like, I, and I love the fact that they included a planner. I absolutely love that. But like, I, I'm just not a fan of this. Nine is the next one. So let's see. Okay. On stage, the actors are craning their necks, watching the curtain come down with mild curiosity. A couple of them have their mouths open in little O's. A few seconds later, I see why. The curtain that's descending upstage is dark, as black as the night sky, but all over but all over it are twinkling stars, hundreds of them. This is $2.99. It's in this cute little thing. Oh my gosh. It's a shower curtain. I was wondering how they were gonna make a curtain. Like my guess was that it was gonna be a curtain. Like I said in my head, I was like, it's a curtain, but how? It's a shower curtain and it comes with a little shower ring. Oh, oh my God, and it has stars on them. That is so cute. The last, uh, the last one is on page 394. She turns away again and a second later, she's reaching for her purse. Okay, <laughs> that's basically it. She's reaching for her purse, so it has to be a purse, right? Mm. Mm. Okay, I can already tell you guys that this is not going to be my cup of tea. I don't care how cute it looks, I'm not a fan of this material. Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's okay. 
I definitely am a fan of these, maybe a little bit, but like, I don't like this material. I am not a fan of this material. Oh, and it comes with like the straps inside. Hmm, it's okay. I mean, it's it's definitely different. It will definitely be different. Like nobody else will have this purse except you and everybody else who subscribed to this box. Um, it's okay. I mean, it's, I think it's a really cute cut. I just, oh, I'm just not a fan of this. I thought it was a hat at first. I was like, that makes no sense because I was reading about a purse. Um, I will say though, like overall, I think this box as a whole was pretty good. Um, like I'm happy that we got a purse. I just didn't like the material and I'm happy we got a planner. I just didn't like the cup. So I think that was pretty good though. Like, yeah. So let's go for the next one. This is the adult. So all of the rest of them are going to be adults. This one's kind of light actually. Oh, you know what? This is actually the Christmas box. Yeah, because this was the Christmas. Um, oh, that's why I have so many boxes. Okay, so I ordered the limited edition Christmas uh, box. Uh, I don't remember how much it cost, but this is not included in the monthly subscription. This is something that is you have to order on its own. But I really wanted to read In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. And so um, I got this. Uh, there's a 285 one. There's a 164 one. This is very light. There is a 144 one. There's a art print. There is a uh, signed book plate. One more gift that says page 281. In unison, Andrew and I turned our faces up to the doorway overhead. Miles is right. The festive sprig is now hanging from a red ribbon pinned into the doorway. Please tell me it's not mistletoe. I mean, I guess I can save it for next Christmas. It just, yeah. I think this came in January, I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, but, I mean, I guess. Is this mistletoe? I don't even know how mistletoe looks. So, but, I don't know. I'm just... I'll be honest, it's not the, my favorite gift that I've gotten from them. I definitely feel like I won't use it. Um, and especially this is a limited edition box, which means I think you might end up paying more or, well, you're definitely paying more, especially if you get the monthly subscription box. Like we need gifts to make us get this box. So, but hopefully the other ones are better. So the next gift is 144. Thank you for getting this started, honey. Mom pulls her hair back into a bun, slips on her Mrs. Claus apron, and, and takes the wooden spoon from my hand wordlessly, telling me that she'll take it from here. Okay, so I'm, oh, so it's definitely gonna be Mrs. Claus. Mm. Okay. Oh. It's sexy Mrs. Claus, apparently. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, look at me. This is cute. I like this. It's very, it's obviously not really expensive, but I mean, I'm happy with this. So, I mean, if the other gifts are pretty good, then I would be content with this box. So the next page is 281 and it is this big gift right here. Okay, so I'll read the part where it's at. So uh, let's see, my left hand rests on my lap and is decorated with a simple wedding band. Andrew has clearly said something that made me laugh. My mouth is open, head tilted back in glee and his eyes shine with a delighted cocky smile. We're hammering it up for everyone. For anyone don't even seem aware there might be someone nearby capturing this moment okay i have no clue what this gift is usually there's like you can kind of tell from this sentence but like i don't know Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna talk about it. So this is a, a, a picture frame um, that you stand up. It's a cute, it's a cute frame. Um, yeah, I mean, it's okay. Like, 
I guess. I mm, I don't know. This this box is kind of like a miss to me. We have one more gift. Um, and it's small, so I don't I don't think that it's gonna make up for all of this other stuff. I just kind of feel like. You know what? No, I'm going to save it after this just to, you know, because you don't know this could be something big. It feels like rolled up socks and something small, some small thingies. But, uh, okay, 285. At least it gives me an excuse to escape. I shuffle down the hall, rounding the banister to, to begin climbing the stairs. But my foot lands on something and it crunches beneath the sole of my socks. I lift my foot. Pick the item off the bottom and study the shiny object. It's a flattened peppermint kiss. So, all right, so let's unbox it. So it probably is socks. Okay, so it says mailing surprise. Okay, so it's some socks. Um, I can never be mad at socks, however. Mm. Oh, and it's some kisses. That's okay. I actually like this one. This this gift I like. However, I will share my opinion about this because um, although I am a rep for Once Upon a Book Club, I um, feel free to use my code. Um, you can get anything in their their site um, for ten percent off if you use Black L Woods ten. Um, so uh with this box i'm gonna be honest with you guys i definitely was not happy um i felt like not only was the value not there but i didn't like the gifts like i wasn't excited about it and in fact if i read the book and saw these gifts i probably would not have been excited about it either and i feel like if i knew what was in the box i probably would have just bought the book on its own and not got gotten this box usually as you will probably see the gifts are really good um typically in their boxes but this particular one i just i i can't get behind i i just wasn't a fan of this box and it's crazy because this was actually an extra kind of thing like you have to spend money on and i just feel like no the value was not there at all to the next box hopefully this one is better is the book club kit so this is the book um uh okay so it looks like we got three gifts uh, and these are the pages. These are the um, discussion dates, the discussion questions. I'm seeing a quote print letter from the author. Okay, uh, looks like we got a freebie. So it says, you can never get a cup of tea large enough or a book long enough to suit me. C.S. Lewis. So, and inside, it's some tea. I can never be mad at tea. All right, so the first thing I am seeing, ooh, green tea with strawberry and kiwi. This is different. Cream, bright with exquisite character it's right here i've never had cylon tea so i don't really oh here it is oh it's a black tea super excited about that i absolutely love tea and i really want to start drinking it more i want to switch over to drinking more tea than coffee and like i love that so already before i even get to the actual gifts you have won me over yeah. first gift is on page 57 the next one is 197 the next one is 333 so this is the book that is included mrs benson's beetle by rachel joyce okay, so let's start with page 57 the mark inside that's so cute so apparently this is gonna be like a lot of beetle kind of like content clearly this was a lie it wasn't fine though marjorie could see now that she'd been wrong it wasn't her suitcase it was the red valise in need had been at such pains to hide. Not only that, but she'd been crying. Her eyes were black flowers. What is this? I don't know what <laughs> Venice is, but I mean, it looks, it, it reminds me a little bit of Disney for some reason. So it looks like a travel like bag container. So up here it's like a zipper and some more pockets. And then in here it's like, a little container. I mean, I'm not mad at it. I'm, I'm, I'm not mad because I feel like this is definitely something that I could use. So it's okay. Oh, 
And look at this, we get like a luggage tag. This I am happy about because um, I don't like to buy luggage tag, but I do like to like be able to like identify my stuff in the airport. And this is cute. Like I don't think anybody else will have something like this. And it has a quote on it. It says, but now the time for dreaming and wishing was over and she was going. Cute. It has like a little fake leather kind of thing. And it's so, it's like one of those things that you can just kind of tie on your suitcase and it's like a little cute accessory. So that's, that's nice. Okay, so the next thing is 197. Uh, she was aware that Enid had said something about trying to tune in to the general overseas service on her radio. She wanted to catch the King's Christmas broadcast. Then something else had happened. One minute eating Enid was saying, I've got it. I've got a signal. The next moment she yelped as if her radio had just bitten her. There's no way that there's a radio in this. If there is a radio in this, this might be one of the best boxes just because there's a radio on it. Because you don't get radios in, it's, it's not radio. It's not, there's no way. All right, so I'm seeing something in Chinese maybe. Oh, made in China. It really is Chinese. Uh, uh oh, I am seeing something electric. This cannot be a radio. You guys, look how cute it is. It's a little speaker. Oh, it is so retro. Oh my God. And then you can tune it. Oh, it's dead. Oh wait, Hold no. It's on. Bluetooth mode. It's a Bluetooth. They have won me back over. They have won me back over. You know what? I should have read this book and opened this because I would have been like so impressed. I would have been so happy to unbox this. This is why they tell you to wait. So now you see, there's one more gift. Okay, so page 333. Now you guys see how my my mood has completely changed. Okay. It says, Freya moved her magnifying glass to the assistant. She's She was much older, too old really to be in the field. Tall, big boned, but frail, dressed in a man's jacket and loose trousers. Obviously it's a magnifying glass, right? It's so fancy. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. It's so retro and fancy. This is a pretty good box. Oh, you guys, if I would have actually like, if I would actually read this box and saw this picture with this on the back and this damn magnifying glass, I probably would have cried because it's, it probably was like a sentimental moment. Oh my, what? Okay, you guys, so my phone died as I was filming the previous part of this video. And as you can see, a lot has changed, including my background, my hair, my makeup, everything has changed. It's like, it's been about a month <laughs> since I was in the middle of filming this video, my phone died and I have never looked back. But another thing that has changed is that I found a few more boxes around the house. So now this video is gonna be even longer. I'm gonna go faster now. So the next box is going to be a YA box. So this is the book that will be inside. This is even tied. Um, one thing about this is that I think this might have been October. I, I, I don't really know, but I know I've gotten this book in a different box. So we're just going to start showing you guys the books, even tied, uh, by Sarah Goodman. The first, okay, I'm just going to show you guys the gift. This is page 129. It is a uh, book art. It says, Some truths are better left unsaid. This is a quote from the book. Page 315. Page 103, page 147 as well. All right, so it says, Heidi laid a faded scrap of paper on the counter and untied her apron. Use this recipe for the crust. I'm going to get dressed for church. So I'm thinking page 103 is going to be an apron. Maybe a recipe? All right. Yep. Yep, 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 look at this. It looks like a handwritten recipe for a pie crust, uh, a measuring, a set of measuring cups, and they're black. And the last thing in here is an apron. Oh, that's so cute. So it, it's a, it's an apron apron. So it's this cute green stripey, like full thingy apron. Like this is cute. So it is this gift. 
and it says she flung away the little bag of filled spills it landed at the feet of a solemn faced man and an older woman who watched with expressions of defeat and dread let me try cutting it just once more said the woman she bent down a pair of heavy silver shears in her hand I did a new working, maybe this time. The blade snicked together beside the girl's pale wrist, a bracelet fell away. So I'm thinking this is probably some either scissors or a bracelet based on just reading that. I was right. So the first thing I am seeing is some scissors, which I actually really need some scissors. Like I am so happy to get these. These are the good kind too. Like this is like, like some that you can cut your hair with almost that's nice scissors yeah these are nice scissors and then the um, next thing in the box is also a bracelet which is gift number 315 all right so it says I think it's a candle okay now I'm gonna, I'm gonna the wild pungent smell of sage hit my senses my eyelids felt like they've been welded shut my entire body was stiff and sore and I had a vicious headache with effort, I opened my eyes to find myself looking up at rough-hewn rough ceiling beans, bundle, bundles of drying herbs swaying over me. I was awake and I was alive. All right, so let's see what this is. Ha! I was right. It's a candle. Okay, so... This says number seven, uh, number 19 sage and sea salt soy candle. Um, so you can see it's the quote from the book that I just read. Mm, I do not like the smell of sage at all. Like it is the worst smell for me. Mm, yeah, you, I actually don't smell sage, it just, I don't like this. <laughs> I'm just uh, not a fan of, I'm not a fan of the candle smell. Not my favorite. Okay, so that was it for that box. Let's move on to the next one, which is an adult box. The thing I am seeing is a bookmark. Um, so the book is going to be The Midnight Library by Matt Page. Okay, so there should be four gifts inside. We get a quote that says, the only way to learn is to live. I see the book, which is in paperback. And it's the Midnight Library. The first gift I see is 195 and I see 266. I see 131. So <laughs> this was like lying out. I think this came in a bigger box. No, I think this was like outside of the book box. So this was like randomly in my house and I didn't know which one it goes in. So apparently this is the box that it's in. Okay, so it says, so the chapter, it's the start of a chapter. It says, The Book of Regrets. Nora stared at it. She could see it now, the small typeface embossed on the cover, The Book of Regrets. I'm assuming that this is some type of book. Okay, so I can feel that there's like, it feels hollow. It doesn't feel like a regular book. So this says, The Book of Regrets on the cover and it just doesn't feel like there's anything inside. So, okay. Oh, so it opens. Um, there is something inside, but this is how it looks. It's an empty box and it actually has like a magnet to snap it shut. So, I mean, that's really cool. Like that's pretty decent. And then this inside says open at the end of the next chapter. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to open so it. it says, Dear reader, take some time and on a small and on small slips of paper write down every regret you ha you have ever had since the day you were born and toss each one of them into the book of regrets. While while reading, every time Nora finishes one of her regrets, take a slip of paper at random and reflect on how your life would have turned out to be had you followed through with that particular opportunity. Imagine the best and then imagine the worst, then close your eyes and let it go. That is really, really cool. I feel like that's very therapeutic and like reflecting of life. I, I think this one probably is one of my favorite boxes. Like I would have loved to experience this as it should have been. This one is 134. She doubted she'd be able to kill a polar bear anyway. So she banged the ladle. I knew that this was a ladle, the way that it's shaped. If you guys can't look and see that it's a ladle, like, 
Okay. Ooh. Okay. So this is how it looks. So it has the perfect teal color. I don't know if you guys like notice my nails most of the time, but this is like the color that I have on it. And then rose gold is like my favorite, like, like accent. It's so pretty. I cannot wait to put that in my kitchen. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Oh, so it says she fell to her knees and started clanging the ladle against the saucepan and shouted at the top of her lungs, bear, bear, bear. That is so, I'm really starting to like this one. Well. So this is the next gift, it's $1.95. I don't know what this could be, maybe a puzzle because I can hear something shaking in it. And that chaos builds with every single move you make. She took a seat at the chess table opposite Mrs. Elm. She stared down at the board and moved a pawn two spaces forward. Okay, I can feel something moving in here, but there's no freaking way that they included a chess board in a book box. There's no way. Like, I know this is not gonna be a chess board. Like, it's, it's impossible. guys something that looks like a chess board maybe it's like another one of those secret box although i don't think that it would be two of them you guys it's a freaking real chess board i've never had a chess board in my life so some of the pieces have started to move but they each have their own little spot that they're supposed to be in i'm gonna try to you guys I am just so in shock. It's a real freaking chess board. So if you flip it over, this is the board. These are the pieces. I now at 29 years old have a chess board. I've d this is the best box. <laughs> this is the best box in this entire video. This, it should end at that. Like you can't really top that. There's nothing else that they can give me that's better. Page 266. So it says, Mrs. Elm placed a hand above the desk and hastily rummaged for something. A second later, she was handing Nora an orange plastic fountain pen, the kind Nora had owned at school, the one she had noticed ages ago. Okay, so obviously this is a pen. So, I mean, this is the orange fountain pen. Does it say a quote? You don't have to understand life, you just have to live it. That is so cute. I, I don't think I've had a pen that was orange. Like, you know, that's that's pretty unique. It's probably gonna come in handy on Halloween, but you guys, this is probably my favorite. I think I have one more, yeah, I have one more box to unbox and then we'll be done with this extremely long video. And it's another adult box. All right, so obviously in here, the uh, this is going to be um, the book the Lost Love Song. I already know what the book is. I'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you. The Lost Love Song by Minnie Dart. The first gift is going to be page 355, page 240. There's like sand or something in here because it's like falling out. Um, and then page 220, see another passive aggressive bookmark. It's like, don't open these gifts. We know you're doing it secret, don't open it. Sorry. And then we have a book quote plate it says, those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. There is this thing that's on page 186. She had no map pins, but she did have earrings. So she put a small silver star stud through the paper at Esperance. The next earring, a crescent moon, she puts into the township of Bellingen in the New South Wales hinterland for no other reason than because this was a profoundly pretty part of the country lush green and hilly yet not all that far from the coast and because she had passed through there a, f a few times and liked the atmosphere she could imagine sliding with ease into a job in a laid-back girl okay it's gonna be earrings and a map <laughs> it's gonna be earrings and a map honey that, that was a long long one i had to stop myself all right, so it's in this like poster tube thing. So I'm gonna, all right, so I am seeing a map. Maybe it's just the map. Ooh, nope, 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 I knew I was right. I knew I was right. 
So it comes with a thing of earrings. They're very simplistic. So I do see the crescent moon. I see a star. I see a heart and some very like minimum bars and that. This is pretty cool. I don't think I actually own a map in my house. Most people probably don't own a map in their house, right? Now we do, if you had once upon a book club. I guess now is a good time to say that if you're interested in getting this book subscription box, um, feel free to use my code to save 10% off. It is Black L Woods 10. I will write it in here. If there's anything in their shop, literally anything. You can use it as many times as you would like. He watched the road, but was aware of Evie in the passenger seat, fidgeting with the moonstone ring she wore on the middle finger of her left hand. He didn't know for certain what was going to happen next. She might not want to take things any further. She might decide no. Mm -hmm. What are they talking about that, huh? So it is in a red box. Of course, it's going to be the ring, right? Y'all, look what is inside it looks like a little piano oh my god that is so gorgeous oh my god look at the look at the gold keys oh it's so cute and inside you guys it opens it freaking opens the ring is actually really pretty look at that it's pink so you can't really okay there we go it's pink with like a little layer. Oh, chai won't fit on my finger though. It'll fit on my thumb. Do I have like really thick hands or something? I don't know, but like, oh, okay. I guess they, you know, <laughs> but it's it's a really cute uh, ring. I really like that. It, it's a bit small, but like this case is so gorgeous. Like it's definitely going on my bookshelf because it's so pretty. It's 40 and I am just really scared to open this because there's definitely sand, like every time I move it, sand is coming out. So one, Evie lifted the lid and could not help but smile. The box was filled to about a third of the way up its side with what appears to be white sand. That makes sense. Although the grain had a particular sparkle to them that made Evie think there might be some glitter involved too, wedged into the sand at an angle was a small glass vial stoppered with a cork. Inside this little vessel was a slip of paper, a message, and a bottle. Evie opened it and used the tips of her fingernails to catch the edge of the paper and draw it out. The words were carefully, elegantly handwritten. So, I know exactly what is in this and because of that, I'm not going to open it. It is going to be sand filled like a third of the way. And so when I open it, it's gonna get all over my floor and the only thing in here is a message in the bottle that is also written in the book. There's no reason for me to open this package and so I'm not going to. We're going to move on. Squeezed in among them was a black leather manuscript book with a bright red ribbon for a placeholder. It sat there unregarded, but maybe one day somebody would pick it up and leaf through its pages. Maybe they would carry it to the counter and exchange it for the pricey sum of 50 cents Maybe the lost love song it contained would yet be found all over again. Oh, that is beautiful. All right. So, oh, it's it has sand on it from that other gift. So this is page 355. This box is like gorgeous. All righty. So there's a quote on it. It says, Music is the last thing we forget by Minnie Drake. So it is a leather book and it comes with a nice high quality, it looks like pen. Look at that. That is really nice. And inside it's a blank page. So it's more like a journal and it has the little ribbons so that you can like uh, save your place and then on the side there's like a little thing for the pen that's really nice I think I'm going to keep this um, there's a lot of items that I really think that I'm going to keep but there's also some full boxes that I'm probably going to sell on their Facebook uh, page where you can kind of sell books that sell things from the box or entire boxes that you don't want so I'll probably put it on there um, 
But yeah, so those are all of the Once Upon a Book Club boxes that I have lying around my house. I have decided to cancel my subscription until I can catch myself up. I have about seven boxes that I have to read and get through before I can't even think about getting it again. If they come out with something that has a book or like a product that I know that's going to be really special, then I'll go and get that. But like just having it come every single month I and I get both of them, I feel like that's a little excessive for me. But if you don't subscribe to any other boxes and you know that, or you read a lot, like this is the perfect box for you. I would say the gifts are definitely top tier. You have seen in this video a variety of what they have to offer. I think that you know just watching this video you can kind of see whether this is the box for you uh the intended method is for you guys to kind of wait and open the box as you experience the book um i would say this this is the box that got me into reading i really did feel like i was a part of the story and because of that i will forever love once upon a book club and i will be back of course i'm a rep so you definitely will see me talking about it and feel free to use my uh promo code anytime as many times as you want i will like to say that now they have changed their vip club so that if you use my code i do get five dollars that i can use on a box so it will be helping me out now so i'm super happy about that once again my code is black elwoods 10 um so that is it for this video um i hope you guys like the content i do apologize that it was so long but it was a lot of boxes that i had to get through <sighs> okay, so until next time, I will see you. Bye.